So here we are, furnace running in the background. There's a little ridge of built up material. But we're going to take a roll lock uh, and we're going to go ahead and remove all the uh, old sealant that's on here, get it back to bare metal, and then see if we have holes drilled in the flaps. It appears that we do for the pop rivets. We'll check those. If not, we'll drill new ones and then we'll get on with this repair. And so here it is, the flap all nice and clean, the place where the rub strip is going to mount. And this flap has been drilled for the rub strip, and we're going to see how well those holes line up with the new material. And of course, here's the new strip all pop riveted onto the wing, and now ready for reassembly. All right, so before we put the flap back in, now that the flap's been repaired, I wanted to just call your attention to, we talked about the air loading on the flap, and what happens is the flap actually bends in flight. Uh, do the air loads. And when it does that, you'll notice here on the aileron torque tube these wear marks of where when the flap is under load, it bows and the ribs actually score the aileron torque tube. And like with any torque tube wear, once we get to 30 thousandths, that tube in the control surface is gone and you'll be buying another one. So, you know, putting your flaps down at the bottom of the white arc where there's a lot less load because it's a square function of aerodynamics. Okay, so here we are at the outboard flap bracket. I want to call a couple of things to your attention. That the flap bracket, the, um, the aileron stop arm, this piece, you'll notice at the top right here where it's already been filed. It's already been filed uh, for full control surface movement. And there's also a little part that says top on the very top of it. It always goes closest to the torque tube, any spacers, and then of course the bracket goes in there. Matt shoved that bolt in at the top. And now we're ready to put the nuts on it and secure it into place.